Two-thirds dead and gone, and the rest soon to follow. This is Clash of the Titan Extreme Morbidity Quotient thingy. Didn't really think that through. I am Cross Knights, and once again, we're just reporting on these damn deaths, I swear to God. Every single time I wake up in the morning, there's just more corpses. Ugh, people are so inconsiderate. So yeah, look at all them skulls. Lots and lots of skulls. Tech Town has almost been wiped out. This might be their last night. Hard to say. Um, Scaff Town also almost wiped out. All towns besides the survivors have less than half of their residents left. There are still... I mean, is it... I think the places are probably pretty well defined at this point. Survivalist first place. Gamers second place. I think that's pretty much assured at this point. It, it could go either way, but most likely Scouts third place. Guardians, 4th place. Depleted Zones, 5th place. And Tech Town, 6th place. That is very likely what is going to happen. But a few of the middle ranges could still move around if extremely unfortunate things happen. But let's get right to it then, shall we? Screencast mode, go! So Tech Town did very well on the 20... Good, it's day 20! Isn't that ridiculous that it's freaking day 20 and this thing is still going on? Man... Uh, but yeah, Tech Town only had two deaths, which is great. It's just that there's only five of them left. So they're coming to the end of how many points they can get at this venture. I mean, are, I don't even know if they're all outside or not. They, they must be all outside at this point, unless they're just all going to die. But yeah, two deaths, that should be pretty easy to do. We got uh, Targe Rage, I guess. Although <laughs> his icon says Tech Rage. I kind of likes that. Krapang... Last words. Fun town. Good luck, guys. Now, you'll notice with this guy here, he has the last man standing distinction. Their town has been devastated. So everyone else is definitely outside camping. And they're at vastly reduced chances because the town has gone kaboom. Did I win? You kind of won. That looks like that's from that, um, When They Cry Higurashi. Maybe I'm wrong, though. That is a weird, creepy anime. I would recommend it, because I like it, but there's some disturbing stuff in there. So, <laughs> If you don't mind that, When They Cry Higurashi is a pretty cool anime, and that's probably not actually from that, but it really looks like it is. So thank you, Tech Town, for uh, making that easy on me. <laughs> Moving on to the Inglorious Bastions. Even the uh, little nip here is getting filled up with zombies. I mean, they're even popping up. I mean, that's probably actually covered there. It's just the way OO works. Five deaths, so that's a pretty big blowback, but what are you going to do? Their town appears to still be functioning, however. So, Raven Eye, in my meta, has not been in my meta for all that long. I think we picked him up like two towns ago or something. Him and his whole coalition, I believe. But he is the only oozing in member that was in the Inglorious Bastions, so it was good because he was able to give me certain information to see how things were going because it's, it's hard to find out otherwise. Well, it's been a fun last ride, but it's time to... Hang up the shields for good now. Yeah, a lot of people are just like, <laughs> we can't be freaking guardians. Around. I mean, the, the people are really going to survivalists now. If you look at town makeup, I think you're going to see a lot more survivalists because people realize the benefits of them are way more crazy than anyone could have thought. Uh, <laughs> Man, this is the freaking best town I was ever in. Who is this? Eddie J. Very enthusiastic, I see. He's got a bunch of horses running here. Ah, uh, yes. About 300 soul. I'm seeing a lot of people with, like, 300 soul points. It's a, it's a good range. But, you know, it's probably because, uh... Yeah. If you weren't in Season 2, it's hard to get soul points. You started in Season 3. Yeah. Uh, but I think I've mentioned that before. Banjo Banjo. No words, so let's show your name o name -o. There you are, Banjo Banjo. Banjo Banjo... I dare. I know your name. Thanks. All right, he said thanks for knowing his name. Cool. Um, I believe he's a lawnmower, because I mentioned his name in my chat, and someone who was a lawnmower was like, how did you not know he was not a lawnmower? And it's like, I don't, I don't, I don't know it. I don't know everyone. Leave me alone! Apparently he's a distinction whore. <laughs> distinction whore at gmail.com. Uh, yes. That's, uh, that's some pretty hefty... Wow, you're a cook. Damn. You've cooked exactly 200 meals, that's crazy. But yeah, that is a lot of titles. That is a whole crap load of titles. Again, with the freaking sadomasochist titles. I don't get why I'm seeing so many of those. 
I guess they're kind of funny, but uh, no last words. Uh, but uh, JX Numbers says this was an excellent experience to play with all of you in Clash. Nice, buddy. What? I don't know what that means. Nice, buddy. You're a nice buddy. Ooh, I like this. I like this a lot. It's dark. But don't touch his head. I got everyone. All right. Good luck in Glorious Bastions. I am now moving on. Dogville. Oh, my. They got hit hard last night. They got hit really hard. I think worse than anyone else, actually. Eight. Ooh. That is rough. So four died outside, four died inside. Yeah, they just got unlucky with the camping. Or they're just they're just reaching their end. A lot of people are reaching their end. So Quint, ah, another video maker has fallen. Damn. Very much so enjoyed your videos, Quint. Your uh, the graphics that you used were pretty advanced. I can only imagine the amount of time that that took. I mean, I'm just taking screenshots, and that takes forever to actually place things like. I'm a graphic designer. I know how much work you can you put into it, so I definitely appreciated your videos. But yeah, that's uh, that's three out of the six videos video makers fallen now. Here you are. So it was a camping accident. Excuse me, Mr. Zombie. A small interview for the viewers. Ah, okay, okay. You don't like the press. I get it. Yeah, that was pretty gutsy of you, I must say. Free at last. He is a wandering knight. That means you are a uh, guardian at heart, I think. Yeah, a lot of people at this point, even if they had fun, like, I don't think a lot of people had had fun the last, like, four days. Because just waiting out in the desert to die kind of sucks. A lot. So I really don't like this endgame thing. Team Tamers for the win. I've seen your icon somewhere before. Oh, I think because maybe I used it in the intro? I don't know. Whatever. Dead. Dead? No, no! But Smurfy Bunny is dead too? No! I don't know, maybe Smurfy Bunny is okay. Maybe the zombies don't go after animals. Although that's actually not true, because you can throw animals at zombies and they get eaten, so never mind. Yeah, the dog's dead. Sorry! That was mean. Clash. Interesting experience. Many active players in Tamer Town. So this is... I'm not even gonna try. Not even going to try. Ah, smiley face. Drinking... Drinking lemonade. I guess so. I don't understand. Maybe it's hard lemonade? Who, whatever. Moving on. I'm just confused at this point. Grimmel. Jimmel? Jimmel. Sure. Dying and die tonight isn't serious. That's what it says once you die, I believe. Ooh, he's a rainbow dog. Or rainbow something. Something jumping out of the wilderness. Basement of the Living Heads. I'm telling you, these random town neighbors are just getting more interesting. And last but not least, Final Burst! I'm assuming that he died in a glorious explosion of color and light, and if not, he should endeavor to do so in the future. Clash of the Titanic Dogs. Learned a lot and had fun in the best town I've ever been in so far. Good luck to the rest. Okay! And yes, good luck, Dogville. Keep on trucking. Even though you suffered horrible losses, I'm pretty sure you're still going to get second place. The Scouty Scouts of Scouty Scouting Scoutville Scouty Scouts. Five. Only five. Not too bad. Er, one camping death. The rest were defenders. It seems like the average, like everyone lost four defenders. Almost without fail. That's just the way the zombies decided to kill us there on the end of day 19. So... Let's see. Turin TNT. TNT. We're talking TNT. Oi! Oh, I hate that song. Ah, they use it in the intro of Tony Hawk 4 and it made it seem stupid. No last words, though. So, let's wait. There's someone else. Who Who is the... You. You! You are new, right? Yeah. Again with the... What? Is that a thing? Is that a thing? To use the sadomasochist titles, I'm seeing it on so many people, it's ridiculous. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Aim for surviving. Nothing else, nothing less. That's our motto. It is It is our It's our motto now. So, being in a private down sucks. No crow statue to stay in front. Yes, I never mentioned that, but, um... Those crazy scouts decided to build the crow statue, because I guess at that point, it's like... We have the materials, we might as well use our AP on something. But that's pretty cool, and it does suck that they don't get the distinction, I must say. But what are you going to do? Chumpery! 
Like, pre-chomping. This is what you do before you chomp. Chomp! I'm liking that. I'm liking the, the scout hood as an A. I've seen that a few times. Again, with the bold lettering. What is up with it? Personal description? None. He is nondescript. Freck, someone poisoned my zombies! What? Can you poison a zombie? Your name looks familiar. I don't know why, though. Your icon is not familiar. Ah, so many people. It, it's weird. Ghastly Islands. Decent name. And you say, as this is a private town, the following distinction's not been awarded. Wonder, crow statue. Yeah. Again, disappointed the crow statue doesn't happen. So, scouty scouts, where are my crow distinction? Probably not going to happen, sorry. As look, there, see, this is what I'm talking about, using the A with the scout hood. This is, uh, I used his icon in the first episode, so I do remember this guy. Your dear prayers will do nothing to save us. Likely true, unless they are praise to the random number generator, and in which case they will randomly help you. Completely randomly. Come back to town, it's safe here. Thanks to all, good luck. Scouts for the win. So that is all the scouts. This is the way Clash of So he had a lot of fun. Awesome. Yeah, the scouts, I feel like, and I don't know because I didn't have anyone in their town, but I feel like they had a lot of fun there in Scout Town. But I might just be basing that on the fact that little Marie seemed like she was having a lot of fun making the videos. Digopolis, you wouldn't believe it, but they somehow managed to pull off no deaths last night. So good freaking job. I think that more than anything else is going to cement their second to last place victory as opposed to the last place victory. Because, uh... At this stage in the game, having no deaths is kind of hard to pull off. And the uh, other town, whatchamacallit town, uh, Tech Town, being wiped out tonight, quite a possibility. And Bram is still trucking. Now, I, just a few seconds ago, I, I read a comment from, uh, I'm going to say A1 now, asking me to pronounce his name right. Dude, have you not noticed that I pronounced, like, everyone's name wrong? <laughs> It's not just you, and you told me A in anniversary, but the A is not the part that I have trouble pronouncing. It's obviously not Win, because there's no I there, so it's like A1. Is your name A1? Tell me if that's correct, so I can report on it when you die. But if it's not, sorry. But yes, Digopolis, um, very nice job taking chunks out of the zombies here. That's got to feel good, because... People couldn't leave town, I'm assuming, if they were terrorized like that. Um, they're, they're actually doing pretty decently on the zombie control here, so... They should be fine. I'm assuming they're abandoning town at this point. I don't know. And my smoke alarm let just went off. One second. That could be a problem. We will survive. Oh, out as long as I know how to love, I know I'll be alive. I don't actually know the rest of the words. Yes, survivors doing quite well surviving. Though we did lose one, two, three, four, four deaths, all town defenders. Quapang. Loyalty. That's what that says, right? Hopefully. I certainly hope so. I do remember you posting a few times, but I don't remember about what. Uh, let's see here. Balls. <laughs> I, I like that as a uh, swear word. I use it all the time. Balls. That's mainly just because of Dr. Horrible. Brilliant town. A fine shot at the Clash title. Cheers, everyone, and good luck. Excellent. And, uh, oh dear. Uh, Buckminster Fuller? Buckminster Fuller, I guess. Yeah. I do remember seeing you post a lot because your icon was just so captivating. It's like a Muppet flipping out. I, I interpreted it as a Muppet flipping spider, and then there's just this book bouncing around. I likes it. But no last words from you, huh? Okay. I see how it is. Yeah, sorry to lose you, man. And larm. Let. Lar larm. Ah, ah, ah. Is that a Pokemon? I think that's a Pokemon. Yes. Born by an infected mother, raised by a bitten dog, and killed both during the night at the age of one. What? Good God, you were one homicidal infant then. Good Clash Down. First time to join these rage times. Hope to meet you again. Survivalist for the win. Oh no, these guys are multiplying. Survivalist. <laughs> Probably not. Really fun town. Survivalist for the win. And yes, Dan Mix. 
Like Dan mix. Like if you wanted to make a Dan cake, you would put in some Dan mix. There's no either again though, is there? Uh, what? <laughs> Appears to be a picture of a woman strangling a guy. I think that's what that is. Yes. Um, and we have Jadzi. Clash of Titans. I died as I lived, watching Cross Knight's videos. That is the favorite last words that I've read in Clash so far. <coughs> it kind of is though, because I'm I'm vain and uh, vain. But uh, <laughs> awesome town. Thanks, guys. Hope to see you all again in the next life. Yes. Um, she actually saved my life on like day five or something with her beer fridge of justice. And I think she was kind of pissed off that I didn't mention that. But I'm mentioning it now, you see? I had a plan all along. But yes, thank you for the rescue. I'm pretty sure someone else would have gotten to me, but uh, yeah, thanks for thanks for using your beer fridge of justice. Because apparently, um, I didn't know this, but uh, I think I did know this, but battery launchers can miss sometimes. It's just that's never happened to me. I've shot them how many times? Bajillions? I've shot them bazillions of times. And the damn battery launcher actually missed when there was uh, four zombies and I only had two control points. So, yeah. Whatever. I was saved. All was good. I was able to continue scavenging. So, yeah. Thanks for the save, and I'm sorry to lose you. And thanks for watching my videos. And then two days passed. I, I mean, no, no. It it's it's totally still day day 20 here. So, yes. um, Today, on this very day 20, I decided that uh, being outside sucks. So I, you know, the town is a little bit blocked off by zombies, so I borrowed a chair, and it was chair again. I gotta say, I, I generally don't have very good luck with the chairs, but uh, I got me two zombies, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, that wasn't really necessary, because I could have just teleported in. But regardless, um, we're getting the hell out of Dodge, this is it. We're, it's not worth defending the town anymore. The attacks are going to be so incredibly ridiculous that we would just end up losing people. Like, more people than is necessary. So, we're going to have to hope that all the other towns are going to be similarly devastated. But honestly, I don't. that's not even really a concern. We're too far ahead at this point. Everyone is now out of town. I meant to get a shot of, you know... You know how, like, when you're in town, or you just step out of town, and there's all those icons? I was going to get a, a, a picture of just me as the icon, but I forgot about that. So, you'll have to sit... You'll have to look at this instead. Everyone else is out camping. No one is here. And, you know, I voted on the final upgrade now that it's going to matter because the winds don't go in any direction in any places. Like, no one's no one's camping to the south, and we can't, we keep on getting, like, southwest and south winds. But it's not like it really matters anyway. There's very few items that are useful to us at this point. But, yeah, uh, bye, town. <laughs> You've served us well, but you're a damn death trap at this point, so... Blah. I got to use Second Wind for the very first time, so that's kind of cool. I didn't really need to use it, and in fact, I shouldn't have used it, because I then forgot to, um, drink. But, <laughs> that's not going to affect me today, I shouldn't even say that. But, uh, yeah, here are our camping chances. For the most part, most people are cool. I actually highlighted the people that were not cool. But, uh, very good chance of everyone still being fine. No one was below largely satisfactory. I think that's still 75%, so I could be wrong about that. Whatever. Super duper capping chances are really pulling in, and I gotta say, I think it would be a little bit psychologically confusing if we didn't lose anyone on day 20. Or is it day 21? I don't know. It's all running together. Even though the scavs just did that, but it was probably a similar thing. They probably abandoned down. But, starting tomorrow... We will be, we will have a devastated town, and all of our camping chances will plummet, and we'll likely start losing people pretty fast. So this is likely my, uh, well, I'll be fine tonight, but it's coming. Next day could be my last day. That is it. I am Cross Knights, and, uh, keep on clashing those that are alive. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's under 40 at this point. I didn't really count. Whew. See you later.